Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Lily, and it makes me very happy that you are here with me today. In today's video, I am going to show you how I create these gorgeous little envelope pockets that are made by repurposing junk mail envelopes. So I am going to work on two of them, and I'm gonna show you how or what my process is like. Off camera, I've already worked on a few and I will show you each and every one. I am in love with these, you guys. They are so stinking cute. Now, just a couple weeks ago, I made some of these and they were a little bit different and I'll bring those into the camera to show you what I've worked on in the past. These are a little bit different and I was inspired to create these by two wonderful makers. Uh, one of them is Francesca at Junk Journal Joy. Last year, she worked on a similar project where she repurposes a junk mail envelope and then she runs it through uh, the Big Shot with her embossing folder. And her pocket is different than my pocket, but man, her pocket is just gorgeous. It is a different style, but her work is just beautiful. And I will link her video down below. And then Christina Warner reminded me that we can ink up an embossing folder to get a beautiful inked and embossed image. And it is a technique that I did a long time ago that I just completely forgot about. So Christina Warner reminded me that we can do that. And I've seen Tim Holtz do it as well. So it's nice to bring some of those old techniques and start doing them. We have the tools, we have the ink, so let's put it to good use. These are the four different inks that I have used to ink up the embossing folders. And oh my gosh, I love the look of each and every one of these, you guys. They are absolutely beautiful. My favorite is the Tattered Rose, which is a very soft pink. And oh my gosh, it is absolutely beautiful. But Vintage Photo came out looking great. And then I also used uh, Peacock Feathers. And then this one, I believe, is, oh my gosh. I'll let you know in just a second. I will probably have to insert what it is because I can't remember off the top of my head and I can't see the little letters on the screen. Anyway, <laughs> here are the ones that I made a few weeks ago. The process is very similar, you guys. The only thing I didn't do was run it through the embossing folder. These I made by using a variety of inks, of spray inks, uh, to give it that distressed or mixed media look. And I, lo I love these pockets. These are great. I love working with these. I love using these in my junk journals. And I'm just kind of showing you the difference between the two. They're both beautiful in their own way. The ones we're working on today are embossed and inked in a different manner than these that I used with ink sprays. If you'd like to see how I make these with the little birdies, I'm gonna link that video down below so you can go and take a look. But today we are focused on embossing and I'm trying to go through a lot of the tools and supplies that I have neglected a little bit kind of once a week go through the stash and bring those things out and start using them. And then it also helps to watch other makers create because they will also, um, I can also draw inspiration from them and, uh, and, and create my, my, own, my own look. So these are the two embossing folders that I am going to use. They are both from Tim Holtz. I will have more information um, to these linked down below. I do have an Amazon store, you guys, and I do have an Amazon affiliate link, and I will have that in the description area down below. And if you'd like more information, just click open up the description box and you'll you'll have more information um, regarding, regarding that. Okay, so look at how beautiful, and I'm showing you side by side what the design looks like with its corresponding embossing folder. And then this one here, oh, I, I love both of these. And I didn't, well, I have, I have a, lot of, uh, a lot more of the embossing folders, but I grabbed the first two that I reached in, uh, in, into the embossing uh, container that I have. Embossing, <laughs> embossing storage box 
where I keep them. Oh my gosh, tongue tied. So I didn't put too much thought into them. I just grabbed uh, the first two that I could get. And they said, these are the results. And I think they're going to be my favorite. I just love how these turned out. They're so beautiful. Okay, so let's start working on the junk mail envelope. I am just going to cut, trim off the excess from the top. And I'm cutting off where uh, the part that does not have the window. And so I don't measure, but I do cut about two inches above the window, just straight across, as straight as I possibly can. I don't use a trimmer because I just kind of eyeball it. And it's, it's pretty straight, you guys. And then I trim off the corners just a little bit at an angle. Again, I don't measure. I don't use a template or any guides. They turn out really good, you guys. Uh, so if you're going to just kind of eyeball this, just, you know, take your time and try to cut it evenly. If you are more comfortable using a trimmer, using a ruler to really get everything lined up evenly, then you do what works best for you. Um, I don't care if mine turn out a little bit wonky, but I do, I do make these a lot and they turn out okay. They're not too lopsided. They look great, you guys. They look great. So just give it a go. So again, doing the same thing with this second one. This one's a little bit smaller. And if I, if I cut down too low, it'll be too, too small. So just kind of, you know, trim off as much as you want, depending on the size of pocket that you want. And so once I trim those, the two edges, on the opposite ends. Then I fold down the front flap and there is your pocket. Ta-da! <laughs> now, these have some markings on the front and you could leave it, but I am going to cover it up with some scraps of paper. I am working only with the scraps that you see on the right-hand side of the screen. These are left over from the eight junk journals that I just finished. These are the off cuts and all the little scraps that were left over. And that is all I am going to use. I'm also going to use this one washi tape. So, and that's it. I'm trying to limit the supplies um, and just use, use the junky bits that I have left over laying around from other projects. And I'm just taking a little bit of washi tape and a little bit of this, uh, scraps and covering up only the markings that are in the front. I have in the past collaged the entire front of these pockets, but I found that that's not necessary. Um, I don't have to do that. A little bit is enough, especially because with these particular envelopes, we are going to emboss and ink it, and that's going to create a design over the entire facade of the pocket. The next thing I'm going to do is grab an ink and I am going to ink up the embossing folder just as I would a rubber stamp. So I'm just pressing lightly over the embossing folder and this one's really, really light. It's the, the, um, the tattered rose. Oh, it's such a beautiful color. And it's hard to tell if it's on there, but it is. Now I am going to give it one single mist of water. I don't know why I did that. I just did. And I know that water works well with distress ink. So I just, I just spritzed it. It may, <laughs> in my mind, I'm like, it, it'll probably bring out more of that color or activate that ink. And it did. <laughs> That's why I did it. No real science or thought, you know, behind it, but it, it works out, you guys. So just a very light mist of water over the embossing folder. I didn't do it without it, so I don't know if it'll work without the water, but I just went ahead and, and misted it. Okay. And you could see how it is a little bit, a little bit uh, faint. 
and I hope it picks up some of that color but it really is beautiful and subtle and it it just turns out amazing so now let's use a brighter color with the second embossing folder and I'm going to use the turquoise shade in the peacock feathers oh I love this I love this color as well and again I'm just going to ink it up pressing it lightly across the embossing folder I was tempted to rub it across but then I was afraid that I might fray the the ink pad so just pressing it lightly works just just fine and again I'm going to add one mist of the water it works out really well this way you guys Now the top of the envelope, you know, the embossing folder is a little bit shorter than the pocket, but that really, it didn't matter. It didn't, it didn't make any difference, but look at that print, you guys. Oh, yes. <laughs> it is so beautiful. On camera, you can really only see the ink, but the embossing on it, oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful, you guys. The embossing folders also clean up very easy. And I just sprayed it with water, then grabbed my, my little towel here and cleaned it up super, super easy. So it, does, it didn't stain it or anything. And I can tell you that it didn't because I used it on all of those other pockets that I made off camera. But look at how gorgeous that looks, you guys. Now, the uh, Distress Ink doesn't stick to the plastic to the little window. So I just grab my towel and I wipe it right up. If it leaves a little bit of the tint behind, that's okay. It adds to the beauty of the pocket. Next comes the fun part and we will begin to collage or embellish it even more. I am going to line the insides of the envelopes because I want for um, the pattern paper to show through the window. And I didn't measure these either, you guys. I'm just trimming it down so it fits in the pocket. And if it's smaller than the pocket, that's okay. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. So I really only wanna cover up the side that is visible through the window. So if it's not as wide as the pocket, that's okay. No one's ever going to know, you guys. <laughs> it's our little secret. I'm only going to add glue to the very top or else it would be difficult to try to get it in there if, if I glued the entire back of that scrap paper. And it's still a little bit tricky to get it in there because I don't want the glue to get stuck. And so just play with it a little bit. I know it looks like I'm struggling, but I'm really not. I'm just trying to get it in there. And I'm just going to clean off my hand and I am going to smooth it down at the very top where I added the glue. And that will keep the inside or the lining in place. Now you could see how it's a little bit shorter than the envelope pocket but I'm gonna collage over that. And these old book pages coordinate really well. So I'm gonna cover that top flap with some of this beautiful book page. This is book page or from a book that is over a hundred years old, you guys. I love this paper, but because it is so old, it is also very brittle but it's beautiful and it is perfect for collage. So all of those, I don't throw any of those little pieces. I just put them right back into the book and use them for something else. I'm only going to cover enough for that flap and a little, and it'll overlap a little bit over the pink lining. 
I'm working with a glue stick because this will give me some, um, it'll, um, what a, oh, <laughs> it's, it's more forgiving than, than my tape runner, which I also like to use. It gives me some wiggle room. So trimming off the excess. And that is it. So basically just kind of piecing it together with the scraps to make it, you know, full to fully line the inside of the pocket. Now that front flap I'm also going to cover. I have left it as it is in the past. But today I am going to I'm going to cover it with washi tape and which is, it's really nice that this washi tape is just as wide as that front flap. So it works out really good. I'm not trimming anything off. I'm just folding over the ends of the washi tape and ta-da! Look how cute that is. Super easy collage, you guys, using scraps and washi tape. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And you'll see this pocket is much larger than the first one. So these scrap pieces of paper are much smaller, but that's okay. It is large enough to where it is going to cover the inside of the window. So you really won't, no one will ever know that the inside lining is much smaller. So I'm just making sure that it will completely cover the window on the inside. And once it does, pull it back out. And I'm also going to only add glue stick to the very top of the scrap paper. And then carefully insert it back into the pocket. Just enough so that the blue is visible through the window. And that's it. You'll only know if you look in there that it's not... It's not completely lining the inside, but that's, you know, that's not necessary because it's not visible. We're, we only want to cover up the, the parts that you could see. <laughs> and again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add scraps of book page to the top flap. This paper is so, so nice. I love working with junk mail envelopes, you guys. And can you believe I am out of junk mail envelopes? I have used every single junk mail envelope that I have saved. So I don't have any as of today with the windows, specifically sp the window ones. I have store-bought window envelopes, but true junk mail envelopes with the window, I've used them all up for this project, but that's okay. My sister saves them for me and so does my mother. And you know, we get mail, junk mail every single day. So this is the weekend, but on Monday, I'm, I look forward to the junk mail, you guys, <laughs> to build my stash again. But if you don't have junk mail envelopes, you guys, regular number 10 window envelopes work too. And if you don't have window envelopes, you can use regular non-window envelopes. And you know, I should have probably used one of those as an example. I didn't think of it until just now. Whatever envelope you have will work just fine. Junk mail envelopes are fun because you're repurposing, you know, stuff that would normally go into the garbage. So now I'm also going to cover up that front flap and I grabbed the washi tape to use it, but then I thought, well, let's continue to use, let's make this one a little bit different and use some of the book page to cover up that front flap. These pockets are great to use in your junk journals. You can glue them completely down to a page and then you, you have an instant pocket. 
or you can glue down just one of the edges so that you'll have the pocket, but you can also use the envelope as a tuck spot. So you basically end up with, with two pockets. Or you can paper clip it to your junk journal page and then you have a floating pocket. So lots of different ways to use these. Such a beautiful design. That floral, the floral design is so, so pretty. As a card maker back in the day, I used to use my embossing folders um, when I had limited stamps. I would use my embossing folders to stamp backgrounds. And that, that's, a, that's another great technique to use embossing folders with. Okay, so now let's continue to decorate the front. And I am going to bring in some digitals, which I found in my stash. I haven't used these for a couple years, but they are so beautiful. And these are digitals that I purchased, oh, a few years ago from uh, Etsy, from a shop called Clay Paper Scissors. And I found them already fussy cut, you guys. So that was a nice find. I didn't have to spend any more time cutting these up. They were ready to go. And they just look beautiful, just kind of showing you the different ones and trying to find... Um, which work well, they all, they all will work well with these. I like how they overlap over the window. And you'll see how the flowers will cover up a lot of that washi tape that I used on the front. But that's okay. A little shows through and it just adds to the overall look or design of it. The glue I'm using is a cocktail of different glues, you guys. So it is not what it says, or it's not what the bottle, what the bottle says it is. Um, it is just a cocktail of different glues. There is art glitter glue in there in that little bottle. <laughs> There's tacky glue. There's Elmer's glue. And, and some of that um, Ranger matte gel medium is also in there. <laughs> it's my cocktail glue. I just needed a little container to put it in and so... That worked out. It it works, you guys. It works for me. For now. Remember, I've mentioned in my other videos how I am use, I'm going through my um, stash of glue. Yep. I I'm on a no spend right now. I'm not spending my my dollars on any new glue until I go through all the glue that I have. I did buy two. Two of them in January. But I'm not buying any more until all of my glue is used up, you guys. All of it. And, you know, I had to throw some away because it just dried up, too. So that, that's not good. Okay, look. And so cute. I grab some of these gold foil stickers, which I've had for several years. And these came from the Dollar Tree several years ago. They're not that sticky anymore. So I'm using my cocktail glue to glue them down. Any word stickers or if you are going to make these, which I hope you do, use, you can use words, whatever words or phrases you have, or you don't have to use any at all. 
but I have them, so I am going to use them. On the ones I made off camera, I added butterflies too, but I didn't have any more fussy cut butterflies. And so these won't have any butterflies. And they look just as beautiful. And I picked out two words that each read wonderful. Oh, these are turning out so, so cute, you guys. So I am going to make a whole bunch more as soon as I have more junk mail envelopes. So I am going to, yeah, I'm going to try, I'm going to use different embossing folders and uh, just to see the looks and I'm, I'm going to keep playing around with different ink colors. But so far I've loved, I love each and every one that I've used here. I grabbed some tags so I could show you how to use these as well to, or what to use to fill in the pockets. So these are some of the tags that I have made. Perfect size for a tag. And also the perfect size for an altered guest check. Some of my little scribbly faces. They fit perfect in these pockets, you guys. Ta-da! <laughs> Oh, I hope you enjoyed this. This is so pretty, so beautiful. So I hope these brought you inspiration so that you can go and create your own envelope pockets and also add your own touch to it. Oh, here is my idea junk journal. And I'm going to show you how you could use these. You can glue the two edges, the, the two outer edges of the pocket, and then you'll have a tuck spot. Or you can glue it completely down if you want. So I'm just showing you, just so you have a visual, all the different things you can do with these. on either side. They look really nice right here. I almost want to go back and and add them to these pages because I do need to add one of these into my idea book so I don't forget that I can make this. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you so much. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you are going to give these a try. Here they are, all beautiful side by side. Let me know which one is your favorite. I love them all. I can't tell you which is my favorite, but I do know that that tattered rose, oh my gosh, that one is gorgeous. The one with the tattered rose ink color, just beautiful. You guys take care. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Bye.